Ja. Well, in Club Nicolas to Langeband in the West Coast. Um, this is where I actually learned to become a chef. Um, I used to work here as a young man. And um, this place, this, this, this uh, harbor, well, it's, has always been here. And um, that, that big um, place that you see there has always also been there. <coughs> right in front of those boats, that's where the restaurant was. Can't, I can't even remember the name of the restaurant. But I'm, I'm about to go there now. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, um, when it all started, um, 30, 31 years ago, I was here. It's like the building. That's where I trained to become a chef. That building there. And there used to be a lot of live bands there. There's a lot of changes now. I can even see. I used to stay. You see that the bottom way there's like a wooden. That's where I, I they, so that's where the restaurant is. Right on top, it's, they are called, these rooms are called Calivers. Um, that's a Greek name for, for hotel rooms. They are called, well, I don't know exactly the exact uh, meaning of that name, but they were called Calivers, which the Calivers were also translated to the rooms, you know, of the hotel. And uh, that's where I, st I, I, I stayed. I did all my craft and uh, worked with a chef called Case Apple, um, Richard Mickinson, um, A.B. Matinga, Andy Lebongolo, um, myself also, Andy Lesomdak. And uh, there were also other chefs that I worked with. Ross Day also was around, so I met him here. And there was a guy called Herman Moore. I wonder where the hell Herman Moore went. And um, those are the guys that I worked with here. And there was a lot of other guys like Daphne Romans. I still remember Daphne Romans. Uh, uh, she used to be married to a guy, a Italian guy, old man. His name was Alberto Fernosari. Um, those are the chefs that I still remember. There was a, a, a pastry chef. I can't remember his name. Robert, Robert was a Robert. Um, uh, was a French guy, very very nice uh, old man. I'm sure now he's no longer anymore. Uh, he's no longer uh, around. I'm sure, definitely sure. That was long time, ten years ago. And um, yeah, so um, this is where all started for me. This is where I became a chef. I was trained here. It was under a master leisure and a master corporation. Um, yeah, we were uh, working here as a young chef, 20, 21 years old. And uh, yeah. My humble beginnings now so that's where i was trained and uh, yeah um i've got great memories about this place okay in life there is always good and bad but 90 percent of what i can remember about i mean we had a great time i was a young man by the way i used to get paid 500 a day i mean a, a, a month um before deductions to just be deducted and uh yeah and then I, we never complained we did the work we trained uh, yeah, and uh, that's where I am today. When we today tell ch young chefs that guys remain humble, learn the craft, don't worry much about money. Those of you still have long, lo lot of years ahead of you. Just do the learning of the craft. Just perfect the craft. You'll be okay. Um, I'm not doing, doing that bad today because of I listen to those fundamentals of being a young chef. When you are a young chef, stop chasing money. Chase knowledge, and you're gonna be okay. And if you do that, you're definitely going to be okay. Your, your future is going to be very, very bright. That's it.